Hey guys, I'm at the field right now with Miss Charlie the Aussie and my personal dog Taco, of course. And Charlie here is a toy fiend. She loves to play fetch, she loves to play tug and chase things down. And with that comes a lot of high energy and arousal. So she's very driven when she's playing with the toy. And we want to make sure that we can channel that drive into a acceptable place for a pet dog. So can she still function? Can she still listen? Even when she is in drive chasing frisbees, chasing balls, chasing geese, who knows? We just want to make sure that we can turn on the excitement and also turn on the calmness when she's in that state as well. Bye. Good girl. Do some tug. Good girl. Get her really worked up. Get out, down, good girl. She should drop and down the moment I ask her to. Nice job. Taco, good boy, legs. Very good. Shh. I'm gonna tap it a little number. Good job, and that produces exactly what I want the e-collar stem to produce. Tapped again, relaxation. Is she truly relaxed? Not necessarily, but I can trust her a little bit more to hold her down while we're doing this. Nice job, round. Good girl. Out. Good girl. Out. Good boy. Drop. Stay. Charlie. Down. Shh. Down. Charlie. Break. Good girl. Recall, good girl, down. So right there, she stopped playing my game. She dropped the disc and she was about to sniff and blow off her recall essentially, the implied recall of bringing a toy back to me. And so I actually officially recalled her, tapped the toe and said, come. She came quickly, good job, down. And so because she decided she was done with the game, I'm not gonna further engage her because I don't want to encourage my dog to blow me off. If Taco ever dropped his disc and stopped playing with me, I would immediately grab the disc and go home. If you end the game before I tell you that's done, we're done.